So our buddy Jeremy says, I've been lucid dreaming for a while and I've noticed that the more times I go through this, the more time I spend on this, right? The more time I spend learning how to lucid dream and writing my dreams down, it's got to the point where I have so many things to write down that it feels like each dream journal entry is just taking up pages and pages and pages of space, right? Our, our friend's basically worried that he's writing too much of his dreams down. It's becoming so time consuming that he's, you know, it's, it's stopping him doing other things. He's, he's worrying and he's almost got to the point where he doesn't want to remember his dreams because he's worried he's then going to have to write them down and it's going to take him ages to write them down. So he says, what do I do? You know, what's the solution here? What is the answer to this problem? Well, firstly, recognize that that's not really a problem. You know, if you if you remember so much of your dreams that you're writing pages and pages of them down, that is, that's beautiful, really. That is what we're all aiming for. You know, I wish that I could write down pages of dream journal entries every single morning, but that's just not the case for most of us. You know, for most of us, we write a few notes and, and maybe, and then occasionally we'll have like a really detailed dream where we write down more. But for most of us, it's just not that simple. You know, we just can't remember our dreams that well because when we wake up, we get distracted by things. We start thinking, what am I gonna have for breakfast, right? It's very easily done and I do that all the time. You know, there are so many mornings when I wake up and I just, I know I've had a good, you know, a crazy lucid dream or even just a normal dream, but I just can't remember it. It's a very common problem. It happens to the best of us. It happens to everyone. So the fact that you can write down pages and pages of dream journal entries, come on, that is a good problem to have. That is probably one of the best things that you could be doing. Because you're that much more in touch with your dream life, you have that much more insight, you can basically remember the details that most of us really, really wish we could remember. We wish we, wish we could remember that, that level of detail. As some wise, I'm sure famous person once said, the grass is always greener on the other side. The people that can't remember their dreams, they probably think, oh, well, I wish I could write down pages of details every morning. And the people that do remember their dreams, like in this case, Jeremy, you're probably thinking, well, I wish I could remember slightly less. You know, I wish there was slightly less detail in my dreams so I didn't have to write down all of this stuff. So I didn't have to write down these pages of information and essentially waste my time, right? That's what it sounds like from the tone of your message there. Do you know what I would suggest? I would suggest actually just taking a week off, right? If you're, if you're having trouble staying motivated to write your dreams down, you can remember them anyway. So that skill's not gonna go anywhere. You're just not that type of guy that's just gonna lose that skill. You're always gonna be able to remember your dreams. But if you just take a week off writing them down, what will happen is you'll for that week, you'll probably remember slightly less of them. And when you start remembering less of them, you'll probably start missing that detail. I know that if I was remembering such vivid levels of, of uh, dreams and I was able to write down that much detail every day, if I stopped that, I would feel like I was missing out on something. You know, I'd feel like I wanted to get back into that state where I could write down pages and pages of stuff, of dreams every morning. So maybe you just don't know what you have until it's gone, my friend. So what I would advise you to do is just to stop writing your dreams down for a week and see how you feel. If you genuinely feel happier and you don't miss those detailed dream memories, then fine, carry on. You haven't lost anything. However, if you do miss it, because you're that type of guy who can just remember your dreams, you're gonna have a very easy time getting back into that. You, you just pick up the journal again, okay? Just pick up the journal, pick up the pen again, start writing your dreams down, and the whole process begins again. You don't need to cling to the idea that you have to remember your dreams. But at the same time, if you do want to remember them, it's pretty easy to get back on track and start writing them down. So don't worry too much, you know, it's it's a common thing to worry about, especially if you start remembering more and more of your dreams and you start thinking, oh, I, just don't, I don't want to spend all this time writing them down. But the truth is you really don't know what you have until you lose it. And I feel like just taking that week off will give you a chance to, re to really understand the gift that you've been given here, the, the gift of being able to have that level of recall done. Thanks for watching guys. This video and this channel are supported by my Patreon followers. Please consider giving just a dollar a month to support this channel or just click the links in the description. You'll find links to various Lucid Dream products, articles, techniques and tutorials. If you did enjoy this video, please click the notification bell and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Why are you still watching this? You should have clicked one of my related videos by now, right? Or subscribed or gone onto my website or something like that.